Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing with you the bags that I will never ever sell. I recently posted my entire luxury handbag collection and it gave me a chance to reevaluate everything in my collection. I also did a video about the bags that I'm thinking about selling, but I'm not sure. So, you know, anything is up in the air. If I do decide to sell anything from my personal handbag collection, I will post to my Instagram at a heated mess and then also to my backup Instagram account at a heated mess underscore closet. So make sure you follow me on there because that's most likely where I will post first and they go really fast if I do decide to sell anything. So yeah, check those videos out. But in today's video, I'll be sharing with you the ones that I will definitely never ever sell, mostly for sentimental reasons. So well, let's just get started. And if you watched my entire luxury handbag collection video, you know, I go into detail about everything. So you might be able to guess which ones I will never sell, but I will start with this LV Speedy 25. This is the very first LV bag I ever purchased. I got this while I was still in high school. I was working all through high school. I was a waitress. I saved up money. <laughs> you guys, this, was in 2001, I think, or 2002 when I got it. And this bag was $525. This predates the Speedy Bandolier version. They did not have that <laughs> version. So there are no hooks to attach a strap. But when I worked for LV shortly after I got this, because then I worked for LV in college, we would tell people to attach a strap to this hardware right here. It varies who you talk to now because you really shouldn't because it puts weight on the strap unevenly and it really isn't a good idea. But that's what we would tell them, you know, because everyone wanted to attach a strap to this. But yeah, this is the Speedy 25. It is in excellent condition. I consider this to be vintage. The early 2000s LV canvas was just a lot thicker, I think. It, it doesn't feel dried out or anything. It just, it's still, you know, pretty malleable. I love the color. I love the color of the leather, although the handles got a little dirty. But yeah, it's a great bag. Here is the inside. I don't have an organizer, although I'm considering getting an organizer for here, but I just would throw everything in here. Oh, this isn't the original dust bag. The original dust bag was the darker brown uh, felt that had the LV logo. Here is the pocket and the hardware, as you can see, is getting a little crusty. I really need to clean this up. In my handbag collection video, some of you were mentioning Brasso to clean the hardware. So I need to go get some and uh, clean this up because it, as you can see, it's turning green and it's staining the leather. But look how lived in this leather looks. It's so nice. There you can see LV made in the USA. I don't know if you can even see this. It's printed in here. It's so worn out. I can kind of make it out. I don't know if you can see it. It says 25. It would say 25 under there, but this is the raw leather, so it's hard to see. And it has the one D ring in here. And here is the underside of the pocket. And this is where the date code is printed. And the date code is SD0063. This is when the date code was month, year, month, year, versus now it's week, year, week, year. So 0603 meant that this was made in June of 2003. Okay, I was off. I thought I got this in 01, but yeah. So this bag was born in June of 2003. And nowadays, the well, now the date code is gone. But after I think 07 or 08, they changed it so that the four digit date code represents the week and the year. And then SD is where this was produced and this was in the US. So SD stood for San Dimas, California. So that is where this bag was made and I can never sell this. I rarely use it. I really need to just you know start using this again, but I, I just have such sentimental value attached to this. I still have the original lock the key is long gone <laughs> i actually just purchased a replacement lock and key from my client advisor and i think the price went up to was it 35 or even 50. i remember these were 25 dollars, and when i worked for lv it was the least expensive item that you could purchase there 309 and same thing the hardware is very grungy looking so I need to polish this up. But yeah, that is my LV Speedy 25 and I will never ever sell this. This is my very first LV bag I ever got. 
and I will hand this down to someone in my family. If my boys want it, that's fine. If they have granddaughters who want it, you know, who knows? <laughs> but this will always remain in my collection. Sticking with LV, this is the Louis Vuitton Cabas Mezzo tote bag. This predated the Neverfull and the On The Go GM. This was the original tote bag. And I love this because it has a zipper and I brought this with me everywhere. This was my go-to travel bag. This was my bag in school. This was my baby bag. This was my return to work bag. The most recent time I used this actually was when I went back to work on my third maternity leave. <laughs> and immediately upon my return, I attended a law conference. And so I was pumping. I actually brought a hand manual pump to the conference so that I could pump during breaks. And I carried this with me. So I had my pump in here in a little cooler bag. And then I was so mad because the cooler bag had fallen to the side and it spilled milk all along the inside. And you know, you can't even see it. I just used baby wipes, I think, to clean it up when I got home. Oh, okay, there, see, you can kind of see the stain right there, but it's actually not that bad. But yeah, so that's, uh sustained from my pump from uh, when I returned to work from my maternity leave and I was at a legal conference. <laughs> so I was so mad that it stained my LV, but it wasn't too bad. And it didn't come through on the bottom. The bottom is not clean, but it just was always like this. You know, this is a bag that I really was a little more carefree about. And so I just put it down on the ground wherever I was. I was, you know, this is my work bag and travel bag. So this was under the airplane seat. This was at other conferences at my office. It has still this random food stain on here. I really need to kind of condition this, but I just love this smooth leather and it has some random stains. But other than that, it's in very good condition and it just is such a great travel bag. The only thing with this is the leather handles here. It is ripping a little bit, as you can see. See there, it's like, it's a little torn at the seam. And so I can probably get that replaced, but for now it's okay and I prefer this color because when they do replace it, it is a completely brand new white Vachetta leather and so it wouldn't match this. Actually, I guess they would replace this. I don't know, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't match the bottom. And anyway, I just like the older color. <laughs> so we'll see, it's okay. I will probably have the straps replaced when it just completely rips through, but for now it's okay. And the other side is okay. Here is the zipper pull. So there's the zipper pocket. It has that round circle stamp indicating that this was an employee sale. I did purchase this through the RTV system, the return to vendor. I did a video talking about employee discounts. And so I got this for 70% off retail. And I just love this. I will never sell this bag. And then the last LV bag on my list of bags that I would never sell is the LV Original Train Vanity Case. This is the full size version. As you can see back there, I have the Nice BB and then the Nice Nano, which is very tiny. But this is the big mama to the Nice family. <laughs> and I just love this train case. This is my favorite item of the LV luggage travel bags. And I just love it. I love the shape. I love the size. I love that it has a top handle the adjustable strap right here. It has a luggage tag. This is actually a different luggage tag. This is a larger one. Um, I think the one that comes with this is smaller, but I just have this attached to here. I have the Beverly Hills stamped on the back. Lock and key zipper. Here's the base. It has that same canvas and it's pretty hard sided. And again, I love the darker colored Vachetta. It's very smooth. There's no stains or anything except for right here on the handle, but that's okay. And then when you open it up, you have a mirror and this little elastic pouch for whatever other accessories, implements you have. I love this pleating here. It just, it's so cute. I don't know, you can fit a ton of stuff in there. <laughs> and then in here, I do have a Samorga organizer. So I'll pull this out so you can see what it looks like in here. So without the Samorga organizer in there, you have this adjustable leather strap that you can adjust to fit whatever size bottles you wanna keep in here. And this lining is a really nice wipeable lining, but it's, it's pretty clean. I try to keep this very clean, especially now that I have the Samorga organizer. And then this bottom, it's a false bottom with a leather pull to remove it. So you can remove it so it's easier to clean. That's the other bottom, same thing. So you can use this as a false bottom 
to protect it from spills and whatever. Or if you have something like makeup or other compacts, powder makeup, what I like to do is kind of line it along the bottom, like anything flat eyeshadow palettes and stuff, and then use this as a false bottom to cover it and then put the rest of your makeup on top if you wanna divide it that way. I just love this vanity train case. It's so pretty, even just on your vanity, on your desk, on your dresser. And I just bring this on all of our road trips, like all of our family road trips. It's very big, so if I bring this, it fits all my makeup, all my toiletries, all my skincare. And I just have so many good memories attached to this because it was all of our family trips. It's just so sentimental. I just love that when I bring this out, it reminds me of all of our vacations and I just get excited packing it, you know, because it means we're going on another trip and making more memories together. So I just love it. I just love this very iconic, it, you know, even though I've never traveled on a train, <laughs> it's a cool a little piece of LV history, I think. So that was the last LV bag. And then the next bag is going to surprise you guys, but I'm gonna include it on the list because I will never sell this. And it is this Coach Hologram Iridescent Market Tote, I think this is called. Guys, look at this. Look at the color, look at the straps. Look at the blue, the green, the purple, the yellow. That's the bottom. This is one of those bags that I've never talked about. I just use it all the time. <laughs> you know, I use this a lot when I go to bring my boys to karate. I have three boys. The two older ones do karate and it's just such a great throw around, just whatever bag. I have mentioned Coach a few times. I really like Coach. I have a lot of Coach bags. I use the Coach Cassie. I have this Coach Tote. I have that bag actually right there. That's under the Chanel fishnet <laughs> free gift with purchase bag that like black messenger bag. That's a men's messenger bag from the Coach Basquiat collection, which I got and I use a lot, but I've never talked about it on my channel. I probably should. Anyway, I like Coach. I'm a fan. I appreciate all bags at all price points, but I love especially this iridescent Coach <laughs> market tote. I think that's what it's called. All you Coach fans out there, correct me if I'm wrong, but I just loved this collection. Oh, so pretty. I wish this was on the other side. I really like the coloring here. It's so cool. So anyway, so this is the front. It has the cool little coach tags, I guess. And then I just keep on there. The hardware is like a dark black gunmetal. And sometimes I use this strap, sometimes I just whatever. And then inside is just a black hole of a bag. It is very shapeless. It's very slouchy, very comfortable to wear. It has these little pockets here that can flip up. But this is a snap pocket and then a zip pocket right there. It's just such a functional tote bag. I got this from Saks, shockingly. It was actually on sale. I, I think I got this for like 40% off. So I got this at Saks and I think I got this on sale even. But yeah, it just was such a great find and I absolutely love this bag. I love how it changes color. Look at that. It's just so cool. Anyway, so I'll never sell this bag. I love it. <laughs> I get compliments on this bag every time I wear this out too. If you look carefully, you will notice a bag missing from the shelves. And it is the final bag that I will never ever sell from my collection. And that is this Chanel Blue Sunset on the Sea bag in the size small. Uh, this bag is breathtaking. <laughs> I love this color. I just love this color. I don't know what to say. I love, look, I still have the plastic on there. Okay, whatever, don't judge me. I keep the plastic on there. I love this gold. This was from the Chanel Cruise collection from a few years ago. And I think it was right when the Chanel 19 maybe first came out. And so this is kind of like a nod to the 19 in that it has the chain strap on the top and then another longer shoulder strap. But you know, this is a little different because it is adjustable. It's not leather and gold metal chain. It's a nylon, I think, material. I need to take care of this. I mentioned this in my collection video, but this is pilling here. I wore this on top of a white like fur coat or something or faux fur coat. <sighs> I just absolutely, I'm not a huge fan of big chunky like costume jewelry, fashion jewelry. A lot of my stuff is, I would say a little daintier or just solid metal, but I really like this. I just, I would wear this as a necklace <laughs> if I could find something similar to, the, to match this. So you open it up here. Look at that color. Oh, so pretty. Okay, this opens up. And that's the inside, very easy to open. One zip pocket back there, not the biggest bag. This fits my essentials, like bare essentials. And that's all I needed for. 
It is gorgeous. Unlike the 19, this does not have a pocket in the back. It just is a solid. Look how stunning. Oh, so pretty. Anyway, I love this. When I had my eye on this, the cruise collection was already said and done. It was like the winter of that year or even the following year. And you know how cruise sells out so fast. But I had posted a picture of this on my Instagram stories and asked if anyone knew of even a reseller who had it. You know, I was willing to pay over retail, which I hate <laughs> because I just loved the style. And fortunately, one of my Instagram followers messaged me that she was able to get it from her SA. She referred me and they were able to find the very last one. It was from the Boston boutique. I did a charge send immediately and it was the best decision I ever made. So yeah, I just really want to thank you guys on Instagram. You guys really come through. When I have a question about something that I want, I post polls and you know, you, you guys don't steer me wrong. You are super helpful and I just wanna thank you because I was able to get this based on your recommendations and referrals. So this is my favorite Chanel bag. I will never ever sell this bag the Chanel Sunset on the Sea. So those are just five of my bags that I will never ever sell. You know, our tastes change and it's possible that I might change my mind, but I really truly don't think I will ever sell any of these bags. I mean, I'm just looking at it now. I will never sell this Speedy 25. <laughs> it is just so sentimental, my very first one. I will pass this down to my kids. The Nice train case, I just love this. I love everything it represents, all of our travels. I just love everything. My Cabas Mezzo tote. This reminds me of all the times that I've worked so hard, <laughs> had my kids, stayed home for a little bit and gone straight back to work. And now I'm so fortunate and so blessed to be home all the time with them, but I'll still keep the bag. <laughs> so yeah, those are the bags that I will never ever sell. Uh, let me know what bags are in your collection that you will never sell and I won't hold you to it. You know, if you change your mind, that's okay too. But yeah, let me know what you think about these. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.